Today what I'd like to do is create a short video on discussing some of the main points uh, or considerations that you want uh, to look at whenever you're developing your uh, writing document and uh, specifically um, addressing a research project for uh, students who are studying an applied linguistics course. But uh, these principles will basically apply to any type of academic writing assignment that you're asked to complete. So what I'd like to talk about today are thesis statements versus topic sentences. So the first thing that you need to do whenever you uh, think about the thesis statement is to choose a topic. Now uh, maybe I should begin by first stating that the thesis statement will typically appear as the last sentence of your introduction paragraph. So when you're writing your academic essay, whether it's a five paragraph essay or, or uh, just any type of essay, uh, you're going to begin with an introduction paragraph. So the thesis statement will occur typically in the last sentence of the introduction paragraph. And a lot of times I ask students to include a restated and reworded thesis statement towards the end in the conclusion paragraph. Uh, so this thesis statement will appear in those, typically in those two areas of your academic paper. So the first step is to choose a topic. The second step is to take sides, take a position, or share an opinion. So a lot of times students get confused with the idea of sharing opinion, especially when asked to uh, include citations. And so this idea of uh, sharing opinion kind of gets, um, and there's often uh, uh, some confusion as to what it is or what it means to share an opinion, especially when you're writing a literature review or you're, you're writing about theory. So I think of it in terms of looking at each sentence that you write in terms of, of as either an original idea or you're writing uh, or stating an idea that comes from an outside source, which would also require a citation. So um, when we look at a thesis statement, this is going to be your original idea. This is going to be your opinion, your uh, position on a particular matter. And what I mean by taking a position, I simply mean that there are two sides of the argument. So you're basically going to be supporting an idea that perhaps other people might feel uh, a different opinion about. And that's the whole point. That's what it should be. It shouldn't be a fact, uh, but it should be basically your opinion stating your position. So this is the second thing that you'll need to include in your thesis statement. And then you'll need to finish your thesis statement by providing supporting evidence or give reasons. So let's, let's look at an example. Because this is a, a thesis statement or the topic is for applied linguistics, we'll look at a topic that uh, relates to, in this case, writing. So let's look at the problem that we're looking at. The language learners are not motivated to, to writing in the target language, the L2. So we're looking at this problem of uh, students who are not motivated. Now, the purpose of the research, uh, we want to try to align this to our problem. So the purpose of this research is to use blogs to motivate learners to write in the L2 in a way that aligns their interests with the objectives of the class. So here we have a problem, we have a purpose, and we have now our research question. So, Whenever you're thinking about the thesis statement, especially if it's a research uh, project that you're asked to do, uh, but even if it's not, try to think in terms of certain questions that you might ask. Uh, maybe you don't have to specifically articulate a problem or a purpose if you're writing just a theoretical essay, but it does serve a purpose to ask uh, questions that uh, revolve around uh, some sort of situation. A, a problem is definitely good to think of even if you're writing a theoretical paper because it addresses the so what factor. Uh, that is, uh, the writing that you're doing needs to be uh, worth doing, right? So even if you do a project well, you collect the data or you write a really good literature review, if it's not centered around a particular problem, then some may, someone may simply ask, well, why, why do it? Why even write it? Um, so uh, I think the problem is definitely worth uh, noting and considering whenever you're writing uh, your essay. So the research questions here we have, uh, how can a blog be used in class to promote authentic learning experiences based on students' interests? And a second question, how, to, how do students feel about using a blog in class after being asked what their interests were? So here we have um, an attempt to align a problem, a purpose, and research questions. All talking primarily about one 
topic. And the whole purpose of doing this exercise at this point when writing your thesis statement is to really identify, well, what is the topic? So let's take a look. So we have our research questions here. So the very first step here is to develop um, the main topic from our research question. So in this case, we'll, we can use blogs as our main topic. Our second step in developing a thesis statement is we need to state an opinion uh, or take a position. Uh, that's a typo there. should be state an opinion or take a position that's clearly uh, stated in the main research question. So in our particular example, we may choose to write blogs, which is the main topic, promote authentic writing experiences. This is an opinion. You're taking a position. Someone may come along and say, no, I don't think this is a, you know, I don't agree with this opinion. But your, your, uh, your objective at, at this point is to state a position because the next step, in step three, you're going to give reasons as to why you think blogs promote authentic writing experiences. So the third step, we need to answer the research questions. Uh, in this example, let's answer the first question by stating reasons, evidence, or support that backs up your opinion. Now before I share this, uh, I mentioned earlier that even if you're not writing a, a research uh, paper, just doing a theoretical essay, it still is very uh, much to your advantage to ask a question. Right? Think of a topic and then ask a question about that topic because the answers to that question then will uh, appear in your thesis statement. So in, in our example, we have blogs promote authentic writing experiences by applying a needs analysis. That's our first reason. Number two, negotiating expected outcomes beforehand. And number three, allowing students to reflect and respond to each other's ideas. So now we've included three, and three typically is a good number to include in a thesis statement so that you have more valid uh, support behind your opinion. So again, think of it in terms of stating your opinion and providing evidence or reasons or support that backs up your opinion. These are the three things that you want to consider whenever you're developing a thesis statement. Another thing to consider when you're developing your thesis statement is the thesis statement answers your research questions. Or even if you're just asking theoretical questions, it sets out to answer those questions. So in our case, we have our research questions here at the top. How can a blog be used in class to promote authentic learning experiences based on students' interests? And how do students feel about using a blog in class after being asked what their interests were? Our answer is, blogs promote authentic writing experiences by applying a needs analysis, negotiating expected outcomes beforehand, and allowing students to reflect and respond to each other's ideas. So whenever you have this, especially if you're doing research, put your research questions and your thesis statement side by side and just ask yourself, okay, am I answering my research questions? Now in class, we talked a lot about answering our research questions and the importance of answering our research questions when doing our own research. And this is uh, a little bit different than answering our questions as a thesis statement. So essentially, the, th the thesis statement is to answer research questions based on what others, the experts, have already said or proved or uh, discussed or posited. So this is basically what others, how others feel about answering these research questions. When you're actually doing your own research, then you're going to be setting out to answer uh, yourself what your, uh, what your research questions are. So essentially, you're answering your research questions twice. You're answering your research questions in the form of a thesis statement that comes from outside sources. And later on, when you're doing your own research, you're, you're implementing your methodology and providing your results and discussion you're going to be answering your research questions yourself and then comparing and contrasting your own answers to the answers that uh, perhaps came from the experts. Now, to revisit uh, the thesis statement, remember that we have three different reasons that we've included in our thesis statement. Applying a needs analysis, negotiating expected outcomes, and allowing students to reflect and respond. So these now are our reasons that we want to develop in our body paragraphs or in the body part of our essay. And we're going to do that in the form of developing topic sentences. So in this example we have uh, a body paragraph 1, body paragraph 2, body paragraph 3. Now these are just chosen arbitrarily. You don't necessarily need to have one body paragraph for each reason. 
you would probably need to have three uh, reasons stated specifically in your thesis statement, but you could very uh, feasibly need to develop two paragraphs around one reason, for example. Um, so uh, keep that in mind whenever we talk about uh, developing our topic sentences. Every body par paragraph should have a topic sentence, but you don't necessarily have to have just one paragraph to discuss one reason that you stated in your thesis statement. So let's take a look here at our, our first paragraph. We have a topic sentence. So a topic sentence is going to consist of a topic and a main point. So applying a needs analysis is going to be our um, topic for our first paragraph. And we have, then we have to state something about that. Uh, what do you want to say about applying a needs analysis? Take a position. State your opinion. So again, we, we're stating our opinions our original ideas in our topic sentences. Uh, this is, since this is original idea, you, there is no need for a citation, so you won't have a citation in the first sentence of each of your body paragraphs. It is not a fact, because a fact will come later in the supporting sentences, usually along with a citation, and uh, it's also not a question, and it's not an imperative. You're not telling the reader what to do, how to think, in the form of a, of, of a command, but it's simply a declarative sentence that has a subject, a topic, and a main point. Same way with your second paragraph. In this case, we have negotiating expected outcomes. It's going to be our topic. Say something about it. State your opinion. State a position. Something where someone else might have a different opinion. So remember, you're stating one opinion, and you're going to provide evidence to support that opinion. And those supporting sentences will come later in your um, in your body paragraph. The third paragraph here, you're going to uh, have a topic called allowing students to reflect and respond to each other. Say something about this. Take a position. Uh, this is your original idea. No citations. Don't include a fact, uh, nor a question, nor an imperative. So just say something about this, and then later you'll support this with uh, evidence. So I hope this helps. Uh, trying to distinguish between thesis statements and topic sentences. Remember that a thesis statement typically occurs in the last sentence in your introduction. It may also appear in the first sentence of your conclusion paragraph at the end of your essay. And topic sentences typically appear as the first sentence of each body paragraph. It's very important that you try to align topic sentences with thesis statements. This is the general idea of this uh, presentation and so that you are uh, conscious of how explicit you need to be whenever you develop uh, these two types of very important sentences.